Tonight's Tigers starting pitcher is Matthew Boyd. Matthew's making his 14th start tonight. And now the 2-1 pitch is lined to center field. Shallow racing in comes Jacoby Jones, and Jones will not get it. There's a bloop single for Polanco into center field. Quick throw to first. They got it picked off. How good is Matthew Boyd at this, huh? That squashes any type of early rally for the Twins. No score bottom one. Michael Pineda back on the active roster. Fresh off the injured list. He was out the last 10 days with right knee tendonitis as Garver sets up away. And the one-two pitch is away and got it by him. Strike three swinging at 94. So Pineda averaging eight strikeouts per game picks up his 51st overall this season. <laughs> Here's the 2-2 two -two right back there up the middle. And Kristen Stewart continues to re really impressive at the plate inside oh, it hit him. the 0-2 pitch just clipped him it was caught by Garford fastball up and in sure did yeah and an early shot from Miguel Cabrera the 0-1 sending it to right long drop. run but it will drop in front of Marlon Gonzalez and the bases are loaded for Brandon Dixon the 2-0 swung on to center field Buxton will drift to his left Stewart tags, so does Castellanos. Tigers lead one zip. Oh, oh, nicely gloved at third base by Dowell Lugo. A highlight reel snag right there to lead off the third. Well, it's all about timing. Total extension, you see. It sticks in the webbing of his glove. And there it is. He had gone 0 for 18 against Boyd, and he jumped on the first pitch and lined a single to center. And Rocco Baldelli, yeah, there they finally called call. it. They should have called it in the first inning. Yeah. James Hoy seen he stepped home and went to first. And Gardy's going to argue that's his move. That's what he's been doing. Gardy. Yeah, see you. It's an early night for Ron Garden higher. And Steve Little, his bench coach right there, will take over. Byron at second. Twins down one nothing, And now it's up to Mitch Garver. That kicks away. Bucks to the third. And he thought about it. A wild pitch. Buxton now 90 feet away. Byron off third and the 3-2 pitch. A swing and a high fly ball. Left field and deep. Back goes Stewart at the track, at the wall. That ball is gone a home run. On a 3-2 count, Mitch Garver delivers a go-ahead two-run homer. And the Twins take a 2-1 lead in the third. Swing the line drive. Fair down the left field line. Hanging slider over the middle of the plate. Cabrera around first, cruises to second. Long run for Rosario to track it down, but he gets it in to third base on one hop to Astadio. The one two. Dixon swings, and it's a high fly ball. Center field fairly deep, but Bucks move over toward right center, get behind it, make the catch. Miguel's going to tag and head to third. The throw is a one hopper and didn't get him. How about that? Miguel Cabrera, bad knee and all, took off on the deep fly ball, tested the arm of Buxton, and it's a good arm. And he's giving Steve Little and Ron Gardenhier a heart attack by taking off and sliding into third just ahead of the throw. Ronnie Rodriguez has a chance to get the tying run home. Runner at third, less than two outs. Rodriguez waiting again, the 2-2 pitch. Swinging a line drive, hooking. Fair ball into the corner. Kicks off the stands to Rosario. Ronnie Rodriguez down to second base with an RBI double. Clap of the hands. Cabrera scores. We're tied at two. The 1-1 Nico swinging a line drive and off the glove of the second baseman scope. That wasn't a good approach to that ball. That ball was scorched, but he just uh, kind of flipped his glove at it. There goes Goodrum. Garver's throw is not in time. Go ahead run as it's second base. Nico gets a really good jump off Pineda. Beats Garver's throw. He beats it. He sure does. The go ahead run trots home. Nick Castellanos with a clutch. RBI single and the Tigers lead at 3-2. And here's CJ Crone. Launched down the line. Deep toward the foul pole. And a tie game. CJ Crone hitting his 14th of the year, and the Tiger lead doesn't last long at all. The 107 pitches by Boyd, the most he's thrown this season. The windup, the 2-2, swing and a miss. He got him on strikes. What a finish to a seven-inning performance for Matthew Boyd. Strikeout number eight ends the top of the seventh. All right, we'll see what the Twins can do here as they send Cruz to the plate to lead off the eighth inning against Joe Jimenez. Driven to right. Castellanos is over, looking up. That ball is gone, a home run. Nelson Cruz hits his ninth of the year.
And the Twins take a 4-3 lead. Cruz will look like a fly ball, believe it or not, off the bat, I thought. But the ball went into about third or fourth row. Third home run hit by the Twins. What's new for Cruz, his ninth home run. Crone strokes one solidly over the reach of Stewart. And Crone will dig for second. Three hits for Gonzalez tonight. His average up to 255. Liner to center, base hit. Crone will round third. He's coming in. He'll score. And the Twins have hit everything hard against Jimenez. And his apprenticeship is not going very well tonight. Well, how about Gonzalez? Four for four here tonight. And the 2-2 pitch lifted to right center field. That's going to land for a base hit. Byron's going to round first, and he's going to try for two. Jones throws to second base, and that is going to be late. That is a hustle double for Byron Buxton. Well, you know what made that? When he rounded first base, he saw that Jones had to go to his left. And, of course, being a center fielder, he knows how difficult that is to try to get that ball and then turn and throw. Arbor sitting on 23 RBIs. Has an RBI chance with Byron at third one out. 2-2 two -two pitch, a smash to center field, base hit. And a run scores. Garver drives in his third run on his third hit. 6-3 Twins. Garver sets up, down and away. 3-2 pitch, line to second, caught by Scope. Cabrera lines out. The Twins win 6-3.